Welcome to this Autodesk Inventor Tech Tip provided by Imaginet Technologies. My name is Rusty Belcher. In today's Tech Tip, we're going to be taking a look at the process of animating a sweep with Autodesk Inventor. A few years ago, I generated a video and posted it to YouTube, and I've had a lot of questions about how I animated the sweeps in this video. So in this video, we're going to document how I did that. So we're going to start off by creating a new part with Inventor. I'm just going to use a standard uh, IPT here. And I'm going to choose to animate a sweep on a 3D path. So we're going to start off by creating the 3D sketch. I'll start the line command, and I'm going to start my line at the origin. And the first thing I want to do is, is kind of get some scale here. So I'm just going to draw a line upwards, and I'm going to dimension this to one inch, just so I can kind of get a gauge as to the size of this particular sweep. And then we'll pick up here, we'll start the line again. Let's come over here in this direction. We'll then come up at an angle and we'll finish off uh, right about here. So I've got my 3D path. Now you can, uh, this process does work on sharp corners, but I think it looks a little bit better if you take the time and bend the corners. So I'm just going to add this quarter inch bend at each of these intersections. So now I have my 3D path, I can begin the process of generating the objects I need to animate a sweep. So the first thing I'm going to need is a surface patch. Yeah, so in order to do this, we're going to create a 2D sketch. Now the 2D sketch I started on my ground plane, so I can use the uh, ground plane as the sketch plane for this sketch and I started at zero so I can just drop this in. Now the surface patch is going to be a fairly large circle, fairly large relative to the path, so you can see it there. We'll finish that and we'll just use the surface patch command to create a surface patch. Now I want to pattern the surface patch along the path. So we we'll use the rectangular pattern command, we'll select the surface patch as the feature, and then for direction one, we'll select the path. Now there's a couple things I need to set. Um, in the expand option here for the dialog box, I'm going to choose my orientation to be direction one. And then for the spacing, I'm going to add a parameter. I'm just going to call it drive. And we'll set this equal to 0.25. We'll click OK, and the sketch does disappear. I do need to bring that back for our process. So here we have two surface patches separated by a parameter of 0.25. Now I'm going to go in and take a look at that parameter for a minute. So on the Manage tab here, let's open up the Parameter dialog. For the process, it's important that we export this parameter. I usually mark it Key and Export, but Export is the most important option here. You'll see that later in the process that it's important you export that parameter. Now, we've got the objects ready, now I need the sweep, so I'm going to go back to the Model tab, we'll start a regular 2D sketch. Now I'm going to draw the profile for the sweep, and this will be a smaller circle, this will you know, represent the shaft of the sweep. I'll finish that, and we'll go ahead and start the sweep command. We'll take the profile and send it right along the path, and there you go. Now, the trick of this whole thing is that we're actually not animating the sweep. What we're going to animate is a slice of the sweep. So we're going to use the split command. We use the second surface patch. As the splitting tool, we'll choose to split the entire part, and I want to remove the top. And one of the things I found out a long time ago about a surface patch that makes it unique is that it is a planar element, but it's not infinite it is finite. So your, your surface patch has to be bigger than the sweep. But you don't have to worry about it, you know, uh, like, a, like a plane in space infinitely cutting the rest of the part. It only cuts the part inside the circle. So that's nice. Uh, just to we'll add a little touch here, um, I like to add a, like a little arrowhead to the top. Uh, so this will look like an arrow that's that's moving out in space. 
and we'll just draw another circle here a little bit bigger uh, we'll extrude this upwards bring that back down some and we'll put a taper on it just to get it a good uh, give it a good arrowhead point there so I've got what appears to be a small arrowhead now it's time for me to turn off our surface patches we'll take the visibility of these off we don't need to see those for the final example now when it comes to the final animation, if you choose to animate this and generate a video, I would turn the sketch off, but uh, for this example, I'm going to leave the sketch visible. Now to animate the, the sweep, we're going to utilize Inventor Studio. So we'll go to the Environments tab and we'll activate Inventor Studio. Uh, I'll bring up the timeline, and the first thing you need to do is select a parameter favorite. Now this is the option which, if you remember, we had to mark the drive parameter export earlier. You have to do that so that it shows up in the parameter, parameter favorites dialog. We'll mark it as a favorite, and then we can choose to animate a parameter. So we'll simply go over here to the animation favorites, we'll select drive. I want to start from a quarter of an inch. Uh, let's go over here to... Uh, three inches. I think three inches will work. We'll specify the duration to 20 seconds and we'll click OK. And you can see how the part changes. Now if I back it up I can click the play button and what we're doing is actually animating the sweep. Uh, so you can see the little arrow trace the path and it appears that we're actually animating a sweep. What we're actually animating is the slice of the sweep, but we get the same result. You can use this process on a number of different paths. Here I'm animating a sweep up a helix. You can also animate a sweep along a spline or any 2D path you want. This is going to conclude the process of animating a sweep. I hope you got something out of the tech tip and I hope you get a chance to use this process in an upcoming model. As always, if you have questions about the contents of this video, please contact your Imaginate Technologies support representative or your account manager.